you know, I, that's a hard question for me to answer. I, I really, not, nobody danced, you know, comes out dirtiest. You know, guy, there were always guys that played on the edge. Um, I, you know, there were, there were more guys that played on the edge when they chose to. They were opportunistic. So they take advantage of guys that they felt they could, but they wouldn't, you know, a lot of guys in Montreal at the time were like that. They take advantage at home at you, you know, they try and take advantage of you at home and on the road, not so much. So there were more guys like that. Um, played, played, you know, the old Homer attitude. And that, that, that could be said on every team. Guys were better at home than they were on the road. Um, but standing up nastiest, it's hard to say. There were, there was a few guys that could be, you know, but pretty much every team had somebody who was kind of off the I water. I guess it'd be the kind of guy that you'd look at and go, that guy's just a fucking asshole. Yeah, I yeah, guess. yeah. They were, and just... Yeah. Well, there's, a lot of the times you look at some of these guys, John, you go, what the hell are they doing in the league? I mean, you know, they can't skate, you know, they can't, what do they bring to, you know, what do they bring to the table? And, uh, but they're there and they play and, and uh, I mean, I, I suppose that can be said today. I mean, there's guys that, holy macaroni, they're playing, but what are they doing? Uh, they bring an element, whether it's in the room or on the ice, that creates room for the skilled players. And pretty much every team has or tries to have somebody like that.